Hello everyone, Adi Simeon, Cold War Banker. Today I want to talk to you about uh, something um, in regards to how can you cancel an escrow while you in it. You're in escrow, you put an offer, it got accepted, you're the buyer, and for some reason you decide to get out of it. Um, and you may be able to or you may not be able to based on what's in the contract. The contract has some clauses there that will allow you to get out. First of all, first of them is an inspection contingency, it's called, uh, where you have 10 to 14 days. Uh, the contract by default gives you 17 days, but could be, could be changed. Uh, 17 days to do your inspections, and if you find something that you don't like, you have the right to cancel. Uh, there's no questions the seller can ask. They are they have to allow you to get out and give you the 3% deposit that you put down. There is another contingency for appraisal. If you have a loan, the appraisal comes lower than the agreed upon price, you have the right to negotiate the deal again or cancel. They, nothing they can do. They have to let you out. Then you have your, if it's a condo, you have contingencies for um, homeowners associations, uh, rules and regulations. They have to give them to you to can see what the what the rules in the condo are, and if you um, find something bad, you have the right to get out. Also, you have your loan contingency. You have to go and apply for a loan, and if you normally 21 days, if you uh, in 21 days you're not getting your loan approved and you're denied for a loan, you then again have the right to get out and cancel and get your 2% or 3% whatever you put down, 3% uh, normally. You have the right to get it back, but some agents, it depends what they do, in order to um, secure an offer, sometimes they remove the contingencies up front, so you have no way out. And if you don't know and if you don't understand what you're signing and you don't know if you can get out and you already removed your contingencies in writing, you can no longer get out because if you do or you want to get out, you could lose your 3% deposit. So always, always, always read your contract, make sure you understand what your exit strategies are uh, and keep them in place until you're sure that you no longer want to cancel and move forward with the contract. So uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. If you have any questions, obviously, give me a call. Talk to you all soon. Adi Simeon, Coldwell Banker. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please click the link below and subscribe to my channel. I cannot wait to watch your comments. And if you have a particular subject that you want me to cover, please comment in the section below. Thank you.